Hello guys. Today we are going to start Android app development using Eclipse IDE. So before starting Eclipse IDE download or installation processor, first let me tell you what we will cover in this video tutorial. First we will download and install Eclipse. Then we will install plugin which is called Android development tool within that Eclipse IDE. After that we will create some projects or a sample project then we will set up an emulator which is which most people called uh, emulator device which is just like your android real device so i personally can recommend you people to use your android uh, real device because uh, emulator will affect your pc performance it you know, took some time to load and there are other many factors so there are a lot of uh, you know operating systems on, on which you can install eclipse ide like windows mac linux so i'm using currently uh, windows pc so i will go with the first option so when you will go with that eclipse ide download process so before uh, downloading this Eclipse IDE, you should install Java Development Kit and Java Run Runtime Environment. Why you people need these uh, two components? Because they support to uh, run uh, jar files, like uh, to execute your classes, Java classes, and etc. So you can download it from Oracle official website like uh, www.oracle.com tech network java downloads index.html and you should download the latest version so there are you know a lot of um, more popular ides uh, in the market right now like eclipse and white studio xamarin uh, unity 3d adobe flex app maker etc etc so um, we will go, uh, go with that eclipse id because uh, it's uh, not changed the trend uh, with Android Studio because mostly 90% uh, people uses uh, Eclipse because Android Studio is gradually um, will be take lead to the Eclipse. So let's start with the process of uh, download. So first what we have to do is we will go to the official Eclipse uh, website which is www.eclipse.org and on the right hand side you can see download links so whatever you have windows pc mac linux and what's the operating system version 32 bit 62 bit so download it my um, uh, operating system version is uh, 32 bit so i've done i've already downloaded it so no need to download so after downloading it what you have to do is it will uh, you know select some mirror like md5 and so on so just Click that download button. So after downloading button, we will, we will uh, download an Eclipse.exe file. So you have to down, uh, double click it. So before clicking this exe file, you should make sure that your JDK, uh, which is Java Development Kit and Java Runtime Environment, is already installed. So when you click that link or icon, you can, you can see the, uh, this kind of pop-up window. Like uh, I have the version of Eclipse Kepler. There are Juna, like uh, there are a lot of uh, variants of Eclipse. Uh, one of them, one of a kind. I'm using it. So I have a Kepler variant. So when it will download, uh, sorry, not download. When it will load it uh, first time, it will show you the this uh, a little window to select your workspace directory where your Eclipse project will save. So after that. After selecting, you can uh, just uh, browse that button and uh, it will uh, show you the directory over here. So after that, uh, when you click OK, it will show you a welcome screen like this. So after that, you see another uh, welcome screen. So when you click on that uh, welcome screen, a cross button, it will show you package uh, package explorer and on the right hand side, you're looking at your workspace. So how you can, you can see these things you can just go to the window show view and you can see all problems tasks project explorer open perspectives you know yeah, these are the uh, versions of uh, oh, sorry views of yeah, that uh, eclipse ide hierarchy view and so on 
so I have the Explorer up now on the left hand side of the map package explorer so let's uh, go with that so after that um, um, we have completely installed and just Eclipse which is Java Enterprise Edition so next what we have to do is we have to install Android development plugin so how we can install it just go to the help window install new software this is the first option to, to install new software you can directly uh, I have pasted on that link you can see that uh, over here this is the Android development tool plugin link so you can just paste it here it will show you the, these here you can see this uh, developer tools Android DDMS development tools already viewers and so on which I have already installed this is the first way to install a Android development tool so second way is oh sorry so second way is go to the help Eclipse market it will might be took some time to load or might be loading within a second if you have you know good PC but they can have a lot of RAM and a lot of uh, you know uh, SSD hard drive so when I click on that uh, Eclipse marketplace it will show me this kind of windows it will uh, you know retrieve some data from that listing fetch uh, you can see here progress in the bar so now when we successfully fetch it so I'm just uh, it took some time all right there you go so you can use Android development tool to search that ADD plugin. So I just uh, write it down Android development tool it will show me that uh, ADD plugin. So you can already you can install it from uh, here if you have uh, option Eclipse Market within that help menu option. So it will take some time to search because um, of uh, you know. So here you can see Android ORM, Android ADT, Android uh, and more the development tools for Android and so on. So what you have to do is you have to download this. You have to download this Android development tool extensions. You know that uh, quickly view edit activity service broadcast because th these are the uh, components of an Android application project. So when you install it you just go back oh, so we have a successfully installed it what's the hints that uh, your Android development tool install are installed or not so you can uh, see that uh, window options so you can see that the Android SDK manager Android virtual device manager so so next step is to uh, you have to download Android SDK manager why you need Android SDK manager because uh, when you uh, down uh, install any application or develop any application it will uh, you know uh, support that uh, API to run on that particular platform like when you uh, design any application like uh, Lollipop 5.1 uh, so you have to uh, you have uh, to download that Android SDK API level uh, when you are testing that app on the emulator. So when you test that app on the uh, real device, you don't need to download that um, uh, API level. Mm, but uh, uh, you know somehow you have to download because uh, it needs to be uh, support on that uh, real device mm. so after that uh, it will be uh, opening window like this windows preferences you will see windows like this uh, android sdks and so on it will show you Windows screens like you have already installed a lot of SDK tools, build tools, API levels. So you have to install all of these packages to uh, to support on um, you know with an application on the device and uh, or, or the uh, emulator device within your PC. So next step is setting up an emulator. What you have to do is go to the window Android Virtual Device Manager, which is ADT. 
एंड्रॉइड डेवलपमेंट टूल विच इज इन द ए वी डी मैनेजर सो वेन यू हिट दैट बटन ए वी डी मैनेजर इन यू विंडो विल जस्ट प्ले ऑन योर स्क्रीन लाइक दिस so even from here create button you can create new a emulator device manager uh, device uh, so now now I click on that create button and another window will display on your screen like this so you can put that name device target cpu and so on so you should keep in your mind that avd name shouldn't be contain any space between two words like i am typing uh, android space coding i will not uh, set that button to okay because you are providing space within two words so avoid from this, uh, from the space so after that you know just uh, have created sample uh, sample avd manager uh, a android uh, emulator so here you can see that uh, okay okay so now after clicking that your avd emulator is created select that and start It will show you like this so now you can use then or deploy them I am again uh, recommended you people to use your Android real device because um, we just um, uh, build that um, uh, application on the Eclipse ID and just install on the real device because uh, your real device doesn't uh, took some time to uh, or, or a lot of time to load that um, the application or install that application so i personally recommend you people to use your real android real device not your uh, emulator because it will affect your pc performance and it will take some time to load on your pc so i hope uh, you get everything that how to install eclipse adt and how to set up your emulator thank you so much for watching good luck